In this deep dive video, we're going to be taking a look at how we can use Revoice Pro 5 to align vocals in seconds. In addition, we're also going to be exploring the brand new smart pitch modes and seeing exactly how they can be useful to solve common issues that we come across when tuning and time aligning. Let's get started. For the purpose of these deep dive videos, I'm working with a stereo instrumental. But please note that you don't need to create and import an instrumental track because our deep DAW integration enables processing to be instantly heard in context. So for this first example, we're going to go over a very basic match process. I have a female lead vocal that has been tuned and time aligned. And if we play that against the instrumental, this is what it sounds like. Now I'm going to take the music out for a moment, and now let's bring in a male lead vocal. So the male lead vocal is a unison to the female lead vocal, but when we hear the two of them against each other, you'll note that there's some slight deviations in terms of the timing, and in addition, the pitch is a little bit off when we compare the male to the female. Let's have a quick listen to that. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You. Again. So in order to solve these issues, we are going to create a match process. I'm going to click the B key. This brings up the new process panel. We're going to choose match timing picture level. The selected audio will be the length. And in terms of presets, we can navigate to any specific preset. In this case, I want to navigate to tight timing plus pitch, and we want to match only unison. So let's choose this preset as our starting point. And now we'll make sure that our guide track and our dub track are correct. So we have the lead vocal as the guide and we have the male vocal as the dub. So this is perfect. Let's go ahead and create a new process. So now Revoice Pro has rendered a brand new output. Now, if we listen to the lead vocal against the original male lead vocal. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Yeah. See, we have those timing issues and also the tuning's a little off. Now let's solo the lead vocal plus the newly created match process. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You. Again. And it's really as easy as that. Now we can take this a step further if we wanted to make any additional adjustments to the match process. I'm gonna click this little drop down arrow and this allows us to pull up the process settings for this match process. Now from here, we can make some subtle adjustments. So for example, I think I can ease off of the timing a little bit and notice this re-renders an output immediately. Also, we could be a little less strict with our pitch, but one thing I also wanna take a look at is the level. If I choose the level option, not only can we impart the timing or the pitch from the female lead onto the male, but we can also adjust the level. Notice the difference that we have in terms of the waveform. We can also adjust how strict we want this level to be. Maybe we'll back off a little bit. We'll split the difference, go somewhere in between. Another thing that we can do, we can apply any level changes, but we can also keep the dove's average level in terms of where it was recorded. So it's about finding a happy medium between all of these. I think I'll split the difference and let's go somewhere in between. And now we can take a listen to our final playback after having made these changes. So that's creating a match process where we can align our vocals in seconds. In this example, I want to take a look at using some of the new smart pitch modes to create a match process when we have an entirely different goal in mind. So if we take a listen to this lead vocal, I have already tuned this and I'm happy with the time alignment. Let's listen to that against the music. I know it won't be happy in the end. So maybe just for now can we pretend? Okay, now let's listen to the male lead vocal against the female lead vocal. I know it won't be happy in the end. So maybe just for now, can we pretend? With the male lead vocal, in this case, we need the timing to be perfectly time aligned, but we also need to make some adjustments to the tuning. So Smart Pitch has a very particular mode that helps us when we find ourselves in this exact situation. So what I'm going to do is with this female lead vocal selected, I will click the B key, call up the new process panel. 
Now we're gonna choose match timing picture level with selected audio. And in this case, I'm gonna to navigate to factory presets and let's choose tight timing plus pitch and match only unison. We're gonna use this as a starting point. So if we do this and we create a new process, let's go ahead and do that. And now let's isolate the before and the after. So this is the lead female vocal and let's listen to the male vocal out and we'll play from here. I know it won't be happy in the end. So maybe just for now can we pretend? So now the timing is perfect, but we still have some issues with the pitch. Let's open up the process panel settings of this match process. If we take a look, we are aligning both timing and pitch, and we're using the smart pitch mode of match unison only. So what this means is that it is only going to match unison, meaning that if it hears a unison performance, that could be an octave up or it could be an octave down, it could be female vocal, male vocal, it doesn't matter, then with respect to pitch, it will match the unison. But if it's anything other than unison, which basically leaves harmonies or ad-libs, then it will completely ignore the pitch of the lead vocal. So this is a very useful feature to have. But we still have the issue that if we listen to this male lead vocal, even though it's in perfect time, the tuning's a little out. I know it won't be happy in the end. So we hear that there's some pitch deviations there. If you have a vocal performance that's been sung and it is near the semitones, it's close, but it's not quite right, a really amazing option to be able to do is to simply choose this bottom option over here, match unison and tune non-unison. What this means is that if we have a unison in our dub track, it will obviously match that, and this doesn't matter if it's male or female. But if we don't have a unison, so for ad-libs or harmonies, but for sake of demonstration, let's call it harmonies, then it will automatically tune those as per the nearest semitone. So let's choose that. Now you can see that this has rendered a new output, and now anything that was sung on the harmony track over here of the dub, anything that was sung that is not a unison will now be tuned to the nearest semitone. I know it won't. Okay, so that's a good point to start with. Let's listen to that in context with the lead vocal, and we'll listen to that in context with the instrumental. So now we have the timing across the board from the lead vocal, and then because it's not a unison, it's ignored. But if we did have a unison section, it would get matched to the lead. But then everything across the board is going to be tuned to the nearest semitone. I know it won't be happy in the end. So maybe just for now can we pretend. I know it won't be happy in the end. But maybe just for now can we pretend. Now this is a really great starting point. And as always, we can make some manual adjustments if we need to fix anything in terms of what was rendered as an output. We can actually tune that. But let's say for sake of demonstration that I'm happy with that. I now want to move on to one more example. So let's delete this track over here. And also we are going to bring in one more element, which is a high vocal harmony. So let's take a listen to all of these tracks together now. Maybe we can run and hide. Okay, so now in this situation, again, let's say that I've already tuned my lead vocal, which is over here. Maybe we could run it in high. And I'm happy with that tuning across the board. Let's take a listen to this male lead vocal track. Maybe we can run and hide. Get a little drunk on wine, so. Okay, so we have some pitch issues and we have some timing issues. Maybe, Maybe we, we can, can run, run and hide. hide. Get a little drunk on wine. But we can hear that this is a unison track. So for this case, we would want both the timing and the pitch of the female lead vocal to be applied to this track, and that would make us happy. Now let's take a listen to this high harmony track against the female lead vocal. Maybe we can run in high. So here we have a unison and it's an octave above. Maybe we can run in high. Get a little drunk on wine, so. Now listen to that section. For that section, we actually have a harmony track but both are out of time. The tuning on the high octave unison, I think is pretty good, but we can match that, we can have it be perfect. So this is a really interesting situation where we want to have one preset that we can use, where we can fix all of these issues in one step. I don't want to have to create separate match processes for any of them. And we have some unique differences here. We have a unison track that's male, we want this to follow the tuning and the timing, this one, we have a high octave double that's layered in over top, but then we also have a harmony. 
Both of them could benefit from having a little bit better time alignment that better matches our guide track. And then we have tuning adjustments that we need to make for both of these tracks. So let's tackle this problem now. I'm going to select this audio and we will click the B key. Now for this, we're gonna go with match timing picture level on the selected audio. In this case, in factory presets, let's start with tight timing plus pitch and we want to match unison and we wanna tune the harmony. We know from the previous example, this is going to filter out and it will know exactly what to do and how to process these vocals. So we're gonna choose this preset. Now we're going to make sure that we have the proper thing selected. So our lead vocal is going to be our guide. That is correct. Now our male vocal, that is one of our dub tracks, but we also need the high vox harm. We need to add that as a dub track as well. In this case, I only want to manage one process panel. I wanna have one set of settings that apply to this whole entire match process. So we will create a process group. Now let's go ahead and select this new process. And now this is going to generate two new outputs now in this case. If we close this process panel, let's now have a listen to everything. We have our lead vocal harmony, and let's bring in our male vocal and our high vox harm, and let's bring in our music. Let's have a listen to the before. Maybe we can run and hide, get a little drunk on my soul. I have the guts to speak this out loud. Now let's have a listen to the after, and I haven't tweaked anything in this preset. Maybe we can run and hide, get a little drunk on my soul. I have the guts to speak this out loud, loud. So that's incredible. In one pass, we were able to tune and time align our male lead vocal unison, and then this high vox harmony track, which is a mix between an octave unison and a harmony, that was time aligned, and any unisons were matched in terms of their pitch to our lead track, and any harmonies were tuned to 100%, according to the sung performance against the nearest semitone. Let's open up the process panel here and take a look at this. And as stated, because I used a process group, anything that we change will apply to all of these outputs altogether. So we know that our timing, this is a little tight. Maybe we can back this off a little bit. Now our tuning, I'm gonna back off this a little bit as well. And then this smart pitch mode over here, match unison and tune non-unison, it is working perfectly for this high vocal harmony that we have over here, which is a match between a high octave unison. And then in this section, it's a vocal harmony. So you can tweak this to your heart's content. In the end, you wanna make sure that it fits in context according to the genre that you're working with and that it sounds good. But in general, one preset now with this new smart pitch mode, match unison and two non-unison, that's just worked for everything. And we have a really beautiful end result when we play back. Maybe we can run and hide. Versus what we had before. Maybe we can run and hide. Get a little drunk on one so I have the guts to speak this out loud. So for this reason, smart pitch is a huge step forward in terms of the flexibility that it gives us to work. We no longer have to create all these multiple match processes. We can now do a lot of things automated in one pass. We can even link them to one process group so that we can just tweak and adjust those parameters for one thing, instead of having to manage multiple things. And I would go so far as to say that with the flexibility of smart pitch and these different modes, I would think that this as a starting point would be something that you could use as your factory default preset. So if I navigate over here, I could save as user default preset. And this is something that I could use just as my starting point, because regardless now, of whether we're dealing with a unison or a harmony track or anything like that, we can match to timing and pitch because if we're working with a track that's not a unison, the pitch will just get ignored on the lead anyways. So there's really no benefit to ever turning this off. And in most cases, you want your harmonies, you want them to be time aligned to the lead, which we can do with this mode, and then we want them to be tuned. If our tuning is not the same as our lead, we're singing maybe thirds or anything really. We definitely want those pitches to be tuned. Now I will say this, this is of course based on the recorded performance and it will snap the tuning to the nearest semitone. So you definitely wanna make sure that you're comping your best performances. But this new smart pitch mode is absolutely brilliant in terms of the flexibility that it offers you. And I would highly advise setting this as your user default moving forward. Anyways, that's it for this video. We will catch you for more in the next. Cheers. Thank you.